So I've been getting a lot of questions about um, re-engagement flows and sunset flows. So let's talk about setting one of those up and why you should set it up. So the main purpose of setting up uh, a sunset flow is you want to eventually, you know, someone signs up for your list, 30 days pass, 60 days pass, 90 days pass, eventually it gets to half a year and even a year passing and you don't want those people still in your account, not really, or at the very least you don't want to still be emailing them uh, because what that will do, it will mess up your open rates, it will mess up your deliverability. So you either definitely want to create a segment that excludes them from your campaigns whenever you're sending out campaigns um, or and or you also want to churn them from your list. So del not delete them, but um, suppress them from your Klaviyo account. Um, so then you're not getting charged for them. That's one good thing about it. But also you don't have to worry about accidentally emailing them. And then of course your deliverability gets affected. Uh, I'll just say the one reason why you, you definitely don't want to just delete them from your account because you want to keep record of their data, you know, for, any kind of purposes, uh, GDPR, if someone happens to request, you want to actually have that record so that way you can then delete them the correct way. Um, the other reason why you probably don't want to just delete them from your account is if you're running Facebook ads, you may decide to actually target them on other channels, Facebook for one or other social media channels. You can sync your Klaviyo list, so that segment, that unengaged segment, over to any of those accounts and that's one reason for leaving them in your account so uh, all you have to do is suppress them and once they're suppressed you're not getting charged for them so we're going to talk about how to set it up what are the steps you have to take within Klaviyo it's different for every platform every platform does it differently but this is Klaviyo's version uh, so let's begin so the first thing that you need to do is when you set up a a sunset a sunset flow is you need, need to actually set up the segment so I'm gonna go into my list and segments and I'm gonna create a segment I already have one created but I'm gonna create one for you just uh, from scratch so you can see it all and let's just name this sunset segment just call it not engaged so that way we remember and so the best way to do it is if you already have your master list set up, let's go ahead and choose if someone is or is not in a list. And then you're gonna choose is in, then just go ahead and choose your master list. And what I like to do is, so someone just signed up like 15 days ago, they're, they're still fresh for me, so let's just go back in some time. And I'm gonna go back, so they were added, let's say more than, I'm gonna go half a year, 180 days ago. If you send emails like um, like every day, then you probably want to go lower. So let's say you send emails every day, you know, every single day, then I would do 90 days. But if you're three times per week or more, I would go for 180 and that's totally fine. So that, you're gonna leave the and statement, so just click and there. And now we wanna make sure we're catching people based on their open behavior. So opened email, zero times, and then we're gonna do it again in the last 80, 180 days. And then we're gonna click and again, and we're just gonna get the clicks. The main reason we wanna get the clicks um, is sometimes opens aren't recorded, rare cases, but also adding in that they also haven't clicked um, helps just to ensure that we're really getting everyone. So in the last, and again, I'll do 180 days. And then I'm gonna do and again. And I'm gonna, so click, pick someone who's opened an email. So the reason I'm doing, going back to opened, I wanna make sure, so if they've never, um, received an email, if you know they, they've never opened an email in the last 80 days, I'm also just gonna do some extra security and make sure I'm also getting people who have opened at least once ever. So, you know, there's people who just never opened at all and that's a different um, scenario, but we wanna say, okay, they used to open, but now they haven't in at least half a year. So let's go back and see what's going on with them. And I'm gonna do the same thing with clicks 
clicked at least once over all time and that's it. And that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and save it so it can create and let's see what that number comes out to. And so one thing to note, so this is, um, I'm gonna actually, let's do this. So this is actually one of my fresh demo accounts, so that's not gonna work because of that. Um, I'm actually, you know, just, it still, it still will actually be fine for this demo, even though there's no one in here. It depends really how long your account has been open for this to actually work. So if you're a fresh account, it's probably gonna say zero this segment, at the moment and that's actually fine it should because you're fresh you, you know you don't have that many stale email subscribers in there but you build it and as your account grows as you build your you grow your email list that number unfortunately will start to grow because people do get engaged that's natural so we have this segment so i actually say create the segment from day one why not just have it there it will be at zero when you start off um, when you're just starting off um, and then because of the nature of behavior of people, it will eventually grow because people get unengaged. So, all right, we have that set up. Step two, let's go ahead and create that sunset flow. So I'm gonna go into my flows creator and I'm gonna just hit create a flow and just let's go ahead and create from, actually, you know what? Clavio has some help here, so let's click that so that way you make it easier for yourself. And we're gonna do the standard. There is one that you can do, actually, you know what? Let, let's do the customer versus non-customer. Um, it, it may, actually I'm not because the segment that I built won't match this, so let's just do the standard. I'll talk about the customer versus non-customer in a second. Um, so we got that in and then, so what's nice about this, it's already pre-built, so it should have everything that we have in there. Let's see if it's gonna let me choose, it will. So I'm gonna choose my sunset segment and that's it. You can, if you wanna keep a good tagging system, just put that in the bucket of tags of sunset. I could have also put my segment in the tags of sunset so that way I can all see them all together. Create flow. And now we pretty much have it. Because of this pre-built flow in here, we're actually at a good point. Um, we don't have to build everything ourselves. But just take note of what it's doing. So it's saying, hey, anytime someone joins that segment, it's now at zero, so it's not gonna be active for a while. Um, but once it starts building, once they join this segment, um, they're gonna actually start to enter this flow. The other thing that's gonna happen, so flow filters, just to understand what that means. The flow filter means that any time, it's, it's, it's a filter for the entire flow. So all of these items have to, this has to be true in any of these items at any point. So let me just explain that again. So opened email zero times since starting this flow. That means that the minute they enter this flow, Clavio is gonna check to see that they have opened your email zero times. Check, great. A day is gonna pass. Then before this email goes out, Clavio is gonna check again. Opened email zero times since starting this flow. Seven days pass. Before this email goes out, it's gonna check again. Open email zero times since starting this flow. If that's a check, the person moves on. So that's what it's doing. The and filter is also saying, hey, we're making sure that they've also clicked email zero times. And it's for those same reasons that I described earlier. So that's it. That's all this flow is set up to do. Now, this is where you just go in and you will design your flow. It's time to say goodbye. Let's just go ahead and I'm gonna actually just open the preview so you can look at Clavio sample text probably. Yeah, it's something that you could use. Um, I would recommend, you know, definitely making it your brand voice. You'll notice that this email is in text form. And the reason why is it's usually when someone receives email that's just all text, they're gonna read it because they're just like, oh, what is it saying? This must be important versus an email that has images, that has your brand, has all of this stuff that just kind of makes them like think, uh, it's, this is a, another promotion, I don't need to read it. So I would advise keeping it in text form. These are things you can test, maybe later you're gonna add maybe your logo at the top or other things, 
but when you first get it started, I'll keep it in text form. So let's read this really quick. Hi, Jennifer, we haven't seen you around lately here at Mocha June. We want to respect your inbox and only send emails you want to receive. If you no longer want to receive the content you're expected, um, feel free to change your subscription preferences. If you don't have this set up, I would take this out because then if you don't have different like monthly emails or weekly email options, take that out. You don't, it's not going to serve anyone well. Um, I would move on to the second paragraph. So if you do decide to go, we'll miss you and don't forget if you unsubscribe, you can always sign up again later. So that's what I would do is just give them that unsubscribe link if I don't have any preference options. And then that's it. So let's go back over here. And then it waits seven days. If they haven't unsubscribed and they haven't opened or clicked at all, it's gonna send another email. Let's preview that one just so you can see. And again, it's saying the same thing. Hey, we haven't seen you. Well, we wanna welcome you back. If you do choose to come back, here's a discount waits five days, if that person hasn't unsubscribed or if they haven't opened or clicked this email, what's gonna happen is they're gonna go down the, the, the flow and now they're gonna get tagged as unengaged. And then, so the property will be unengaged, true, they are unengaged, and then that's it. So everything's in manual mode, what you would have to do is change it to live mode and then you hit save. And then now this flow is ready and running for whenever someone, anyone is ready to um, get through this flow. Uh, this looks like that live didn't take place. So if you want to change all of these to live, so oh, it just changed that last one. So what I wanna do is change everything. So update all actions, change to live, update status. And then there, there you go, you have everything live. Um, so I would naturally go back in and edit these emails to be personal to my brand, but that's about it. And um, what else is there for you to remember in here? Um, that's actually about it. That's really all you wanna do. Of course, you wanna go ahead and create this coupon code that they have, you know, if you're offering a coupon code, remember to create your coupon code and put it in there. You don't have to offer a coupon code, but um, it's probably a nice little push to see if it gets the person to actually buy. Remember that this is actually going out to people who have never bought from you ever. There are, so you can do the same thing for people who have purchase from you and now they're just unengaged. And I'm gonna go back to the flows here. The one thing to just take note of, so let's see. There is, um, so I haven't set up the win back flow in this account yet, but I would and eventually I will. Uh, but let's go back into flows here and let's go into browse ideas. And let's get back into that sunset, unengage, and let's choose the one that said customer versus non-customer. Let's just look at this and it's the same thing. It's gonna need my, I'm just gonna do this. Um, so I'm gonna choose just this. I would recreate this, the segment that I wanna actually use for this, but what Clavio pretty much expects you to do is pretty much just use the, it wouldn't be the segment that I created at the beginning of this video, but it would just be my regular unengaged segment because that regular unengaged segment that's actually automatically created by Clavio when you create your account, it includes everyone, people who purchased before and people who didn't purchase before. So I wouldn't run this and the one that I created before simultaneously, no, because this one is actually just a more advanced version inclusive of the two. So if you wanted to run this one, you would not do the one that we just spoke about. You would just do this one because it's gonna go out to people who have purchased before and now are unengaged or people who haven't purchased before and are still engaged. So this is just more of an advanced one if you do want to segment it out, if you do want to get more advanced. So um, there we go. So it's activated. I have now people whenever they join that unengaged segment, then there's a conditional split. So conditional splits, just so you know they're over here, you would just drag it in to create it. I'm going to open it up just so you see how it was created. And basically that split is saying, hey, of this unengaged segment, I want you to split it down a path of people who've placed order at least once before. If they have, they go down the yes path. If they haven't, they're gonna go down the no path. So that's all you need to know there. And let's look at what these are saying just so you can get a sense of what these will do. So people who have purchased before are gonna get this. So I would edit this. I don't love this email at all. It's Clavio standard version. 
they're like, we get it, you're busy, if you're curious, here are some popular trending items, blah, 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 okay? So if you had a win back segment, that's also something that you would just consider. If you had a win back segment, then you probably wouldn't want this going also because they accomplish the same things, um, depending on how you're timing for the win back segment. And you may want to decide which one's more strategic for you because the win back segments are a little bit more like, hey, we miss you, it's been a while. This one's more like, hey, you've been busy, give us one last look. No, if not, go ahead and unsubscribe. So you're, you're trying to have a goal of two different things there. Um, then the no path people who've never purchased from, from you before. Let's just look at that. And this one is, um, again, kind of the same thing, but it includes some images. So it's something to think about. Like I said, I prefer going the all text route when it comes to trying to get these unengaged people. Uh, but if you feel you want to include some products, I always say test it. You know, there's no right or wrong really, but test it and see what works for your audience. Um, just let's look at the next few emails in here and you can think about how you would customize it. And again, it's going down again. You would edit these. These are such ugly emails. And it's again saying, hey, check these out really quick. Here's a discount. Four days later, let's look at that goodbye part. Time to say goodbye. Go ahead and shop. I would also include, hey, if you don't want to be with us, please unsubscribe. Because the whole goal of this is you're trying to get them to unsubscribe. All right, five days later, if they do nothing, if they don't open, if the, uh, let's see, if it's, so in this one, let's just check these flow filters. Right, the open and click, perfect. So after five days, if they haven't opened, they still haven't clicked, they still haven't purchased, they're gonna go down this um, path and get tagged as unengaged. So next question should be, well, what do you do now, now that they're tagged with unengaged? So this is where I say you would take that segment, you would go into your profiles and you would go to suppressed. Um, actually, I'm gonna back up a sec. So you would take, you would go back into list and segments. You would take that segment and open it over here and you would export segment to CSV. It's gonna download onto your computer. Then you go to profiles. Then you go to suppress profiles. And then you click, I'm sorry, not that one. You click uh, upload file. You choose that file on your computer. Let me just close that. And then you would upload those people. Those people would then be suppressed in your account. They would still show up in your segments. So just because you suppress them does not mean that they're not gonna stick here. They will. That's the beauty of Klaviyo is that they're letting you keep your data, but they're protecting you from emailing them when they don't wanna be emailed anymore. Because what you would do with that segment, you can open up this segment, and if you had your Facebook ads um, integrated with your Klaviyo account, which you could do in the integration section, you would then go into settings, scroll down over here where it says Facebook advertising, and then you would say, hey, I wanna sync this with one of my audiences in Facebook. And if you don't have it already there, so in this case I do, my Klaviyo unengaged subscribers, I would sync it there, and maybe they're gonna get that same email saying, 10% off, we want you back, whatever, or you can create a new audience. And that's actually it. So that's the whole process of creating your unengaged segment. Again, I recommend you create that unengaged segment from day one of your account being open, at least it's there. Is it one of the priority things to do? No, of course not, but it is something to consider if you don't have it in your account already. So create that segment, then create that flow, and then all you have to do is just sit back and let that flow work for you, okay? Any questions, just drop them in the comments for me.